Today's painting is going to be another part of the series where I paint on 30 inch by 40 inch canvases because I ordered much because I was given these frames years ago and we've used them for various purposes but uh, they keep coming back to me and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them and so I thought why not make some more and frame it because frames are expensive and these are nice. So we're making it work. I'm working on a series of neutrals, metallic neutrals that will go well with these frames. So let's see what happens. Okay, so today we're going to do a neutral color scheme on this panel, which is not panel, it's canvas, 30 inches by 40 inches. I have some frames that will fit them nicely. I'm looking forward to that. So we're going to coat it with black first. And then we're going to be using some silver, some gold, micaceous oxide, and burnt Also some iridescent pearl. talking because I was concentrating, but I have a mixture of iridescent pearl, iridescent gold, iridescent silver, micaceous oxide, iridescent micaceous oxide, and um, the burnt sienna. And I've sort of mixed them around. Um, and I'm going to... I'm almost tempted to just tilt rather than swipe, but I think I'm going to swipe. Uh, I'm going to swipe first. I've been liking the intentional drips lately, so I'm just going to allow it to if it wants. I'll probably, I feel like, I, I mean, I, I had planned to swipe again, so these drips will probably disappear. Just a regular paper towel with water sprayed on it.
So recently I had a couple of paintings where I did a directional swipe going the opposite way. And I was thinking about doing that today. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a little time to develop though. It's a lot of paint in the middle. So I probably will have to swipe again. I will pop some air bubbles and walk away for a second and just see what's going on. Okay, it's been about five minutes and I feel, I feel pretty good about this. Um, I like uh, the gold that's peeking through underneath. So I think what I'm gonna do is just tilt and stretch it a little bit and then maybe swipe, because I do feel like there's a little bit too much paint in the center. I probably will still swipe, but I'm just really nervous about the puddle, the puddling. So I've sort of gotten the stripe back in the center, but I've spread the paint out a little bit and I think I'm gonna swipe one more time and we'll just see how it goes. I would leave it, but, let's see. I would leave it, but I don't like these ripples down here. So we're gonna play with it one more time. Again, I'm going to let it sit for a little while, see what happens, but first. Wow. 
already I'm liking that this sort of mirrors this and it leads the eye around the so you've got the gold peeking through in some places that sort of takes your eye around throughout the painting. We'll give it about five minutes and come back and get some close-up shots. Ooh, this is looking good. This is a, a combination of some silver and micaceous oxide, gold, burnt sienna, iridescent pearl on a black background. It's a little subtle. The cells are a little smaller than I would like, but they really pop in some places, and I think that'll give the viewer some places for their eye to rest. Overall, I think it's got a nice variety, and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it dries. I'm gonna get off the stool and give you one other angle. Sorry about the glare, but I did want to show you even more of a close-up of the swipe line. I think it's going to look pretty nice. So that orangey color is the gold and the burnt sienna. So I think that will change as it dries. All of this has a milky tinge until it dries and some things get a lot darker. That's lovely right in there. I do like the variation of the smoothness and then the cells popping out in some areas versus the others. It's cool, you can see the texture of the swipe right there. That'll dry smooth. Well, it's drying nicely. I have to wait another 24 hours or so before I can show you what it looks like with the frame on it, but I stopped in to check on it today and we had an unfortunate event with a bug. It seems that Mr. Fruit Fly landed, struggled, 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 tried to get out, tried to get out, tried to get out, and gave up his struggles right there. Unfortunately, for him and unfortunately for this painting but maybe I can come back and try to camouflage it disguise it at some point uh, we'll see because I don't really think it goes with the composition <laughs> unfortunate vents but it's drying nice and smooth it has a nice semi-gloss sheen and maybe tomorrow we can come back and put it in a frame. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. It looks really nice in the frame. Uh, I just wanted to get it out there and show it to you. I haven't had a chance to fix the boo-boo with the bug yet, but from afar, I really don't even feel like it's that noticeable but it is right there. Um, so I feel like I can touch that up and I plan to, and I'll do another video about that. Maybe I'll video that and show you, but for now I just wanted to get this out there so you can see how it turned out. 